Thanks for joining us on PBR.com as well as CBSSports.com. Alongside the Iron Man, J.W. Hart, I am Craig Hummer. We're wrapping up St. Louis, the seventh stop of the 2013 season. J-Dub, no one was better than Fabiano Vieira. Banged up, but he kept a, not necessarily a controversial score, but he kept a rewrite score, and that made the difference. Well, last night, I didn't know exactly what was going on. He's usually one of those guys that tends to take rerides, and when I confronted him about it, he told me his ankle hurt, you know, too bad. And there's no hiding that it's broke, so. Let's talk about another Brazilian who has been oh so consistent this season. Marco Agushe, another top five performance. This is a guy that just steadily stays consistent. He's not over flash, he's not winning events, he's not really winning go arounds, but he's getting those points on the board and he's inching up there. A Canadian who did quite well this weekend, Ty Pazabon, one round one, maintained that first position after round two. He didn't falter very much, he ends up in the top five. Yeah, and he's moving up those standings quick too, number four in the world now. Uh, no, win, no, no Canadians won a built four tough series since 2003, I mm -hmm. believe, Rob Bell. So I thought we had one this weekend. Didn't work out, though. Let's talk about the local favorite, Missouri man, Luke Snyder. He was hoping in the built four tough championship round to give the fans a big cheer. Didn't happen. He chose Bushwhacker. Everybody liked it when he made the choice, but it did not end well for Snyder. It didn't pay off for him. He talked about, you know, messing with the record books by, <laughs> by picking him in. And I think he did it in two aspects. One, he, he added 37 buck offs to, to Bushwhacker's record. But I think he, may have, he might have set a record for hitting the ground harder than anybody in the world, too. He actually bounced off the dirt. <laughs> it was bad. the fourth time that Bushwhacker has taken care of Snyder. But let's talk about the Bulls in general. We came into the Built Ford Tough Championship round. Ten guys had a chance. They get skunked. The Bulls impressive, as always, on Sunday. Well, and that's the thing about what the professional bull riders and PBR is about the best. Mm -hmm. And it's no shame to have ten of the best bull riders in the world to come in here and get skunked like that it happens that just goes to show you the bull power in st louis let's talk before we go about the tussle at the top between silvano alves and shane proctor proctor protects that number one spot yeah and just by the narrowest of margin too i mean 53 points that's not even a full ride away i mean you get re-rides for better scores than that so you know mr consistency shane tends to get hot and cold it's going to a year-long wait to see what's going to happen. It's going to get interesting. A few days from now, it's a pure PBR weekend in Kansas City. We don't have to travel very far by road. We hope to see you all there. Woo.